Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton at markrushtongallery.com. It is Monday, May 15th, 2023. And uh, my gosh, what a crazy day. You know, it was like, um, uh, what, what was going on today? Well, the internet was, was screwing up absolutely everywhere. And it, who knows, it could screw up here tonight for me as well. Uh, I'm trying to create a banner here. Let me, uh, uh, here. I'm going to paint tonight on, uh, on some, uh, watercolor paper and, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I got my new mailing list at markrushton.substack.com. That's good. I thought I'd kind of toss that one out there, see if anybody's paying attention. Links are in the description. Ah, enjoying some beautiful Kelowna Supernaturals 100% organic vanilla kefir tonight. Made with that milk of Amish cows and the kefir grains, fermented. Mmm. I know you've seen Kiefer in the stores, but Kelowna Supernaturals, they have the best product locator of any business I have ever seen. Links in the description. Oh, boy. So yesterday, Sunday, I scanned most of the paintings from the past few weeks here. I scanned them. Yeah, I did not photograph them. I scanned them. And uh, they look great. Well, most of them look good. A couple of them need to be photographed because that's just the way it is. But I mean, it it looks this good. And so I did a couple of scans. I did like a um, a crop where it's a, you know four by five, and then I also did a one to one crop, so a square crop. So I think a lot of these will eventually be offered as metal prints. Um, but it's going to take me a little bit of time to get them into the gallery because that that takes time mental time and you know i'm not going to do that while working it's going to be nights and weekends right so there you go but i figured i'd I'd start something tonight here start something tonight let me get rid of that uh, mailing list indicator there i mean you can still go to the mailing list via the mark rushton gallery.com click on the mailing list or or up here this little to scan that and you, yeah, you can get there. What am I going to do tonight? Well, since it's acrylic, um, I'm going to do acrylic ink and acrylic paint. Um, so I'm going to start off with ink and then I'll work on the paint here on the um, it's 140 pound watercolor paper. I've had such good luck here lately with them. Let me share some of the examples here real quick, real quick. Uh, See if they're in here. Where are they? That's not, maybe it's further down. This one. I liked how that one turned. That was very, very nice. And I'm not trying to do the same thing every single time, but well, you know, if you do do something good every single time, then, I mean, that's fine. I'm just not, I'm not interested in being a mechanic in that way. I don't know. Let's, you know, I got a lot of green here. Let's play around with green tonight. What else have I got a lot of? Uh, green. What goes good with green? You know, if you, green, green and purple, green and purple, maybe red. And, whoa, what happened here? Guys, what's, what's going on here? What are you doing? What is this? Camera mount stinks. Stinks. It's a family show. We don't say dirty words here. Let's go and... Uh, whittle down this blue... See what we get out of this. Huh? Enough talking. Time for painting. Again, just that nice little abstract landscape. Like you're out in the country, going down the highway, turning your head to the side. It's kind of flat. 
What do you got? Going to be something like this. Be something like this. Do you want to go with yellow? Orange. Orange. Yellow. What do you think? Green. Green. You're going to do green, right? You're going to do green? Just a little bit of green here. Let's throw that green in there. Green is just starting to pop out there in the landscape. It's largely there. The leaves kind of coming in on the trees. People starting to mow the yard. Some of them. Not all of them. And then we got and then we got a little bit of this going on here. All right. I'm just gonna toss that on with the green and kind of make that a little slightly different. Give that a little bit of D E P T H. There we go. So a little something like that. Now we're gonna dry that off. I'll tell you that ink dries quickly when you kind of smooth it out like this. Smoothed out. All right, now it's time to. Now it's time to hit it with the uh, a little bit of the paint. Uh, just a second here. Let's tame that blue with a little bit of white. Kind of makes it a little purple there. Get that cloud base going, right? Kind of foggy today. Spitty, rainy, humid in the evening. We lost all the wind. Wind disappeared. Played some disc golf tonight. I played disc golf last night too. I wasn't. I wasn't on the. Uh, I didn't. I didn't make a video last night. But I played disc golf last night. New course, fifteen holes. Extremely windy, so I had no birdies. I had maybe six or seven pars. Six or seven. Uh, bogeys and then one double bogey something like that i don't i don't really keep track i, I played if i play for fun i play for fun this golf is a great you know it's a great sport for kids and it's a great sport for you know families as long as you don't get on one of these crazy insane courses this is a this is more of a beginner's course the holes were between like 140 and 300 feet they're all par threes and uh um that win that win was a little a little bit difficult Let's see if i can get out of this um yeah that wasn't gonna make it any darker i gotta get me a burnt umber that's what i gotta do i gotta get me a burnt umber you know what, maybe a little bit of this on here and kind of let's make this glow. All right. Can we make that glow a little bit? Nah, maybe not. Make it more gold, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's bring on the paint. Let's bring on the paint. I think I might be able to get away with leaving this up here, but I kind of want to throw some paint on here and then remove it. Right? Right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's try that. Get one of these over here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the internet was all wacky today. You know, like I was trying to work from home and, uh, the apps were just not happy. The apps were not happy. And it was like, it was not me because um, I had to make some calls around today to various places for things. And they were all having issues. They're like, my system is really slow. And then there were some issues where they would, uh, they're like, it took them a long time because the, 
systems were just messed up. Two different places, like, and then and, and me, and then my wife comes home from work, right? And she's just like, oh, Citrix was not working today. I'm like, oh, really? That's a funny, funny how that is. Nothing was working anywhere. And I'd get on my uh, my personal computer, I'd break, I'd fire up Chrome, and it would lag. It was lagging. I was like, is something going on? Is there like an internet outage or whatever? I was checking the router and everything. And man, did a speed test. Everything was normal. I don't know what it was. It's all part of the cosmic unconsciousness, isn't it? Isn't it? You ever think that? Everybody, you know, if we could just mess with everybody's head today. It's on a Monday, right? I mean, your work computer's not going to go down on the weekend, is it? Nah, probably not. Just, that's just going to affect the workaholics. So about you workaholics. Let's toss a little bit of this. A little bit of this 90s beige on here. Come on. Don't be shy. Yeah, I'm one of those artists I just like to mix right on the surface. I'm not one of these guys. I'm not Bob Ross. You know, we're, we're just going to kind of, you know, I, I don't do that. That's not me. Not me at all. Yeah, internet was trouble. Internet was trouble. Build me up, buttercup. Yeah. Yeah, all sorts of other stuff happening. Emails late in the day, late in the day. Oh yeah, you think you're being clever. Getting things done. Moving that needle. Moving into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. Right? I kind of want to mess with the sky. I kind of want to mess. I kind of want to mess with it. Can I mess with the sky? I'd like to mess with the sky. Real quick here. Where'd my wipes go? Where did the, oh, there they are right there. I really need to take a blowtorch to this. Uh, this is just too much buildup on here. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, you know, we can mess around with that. No, 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 we're going to go with. I think I'm going to put more blue on there. It's clogged up. Put white on there. What do you think? Maybe white ink. Let's keep this smooth. Though. Let's keep the sky smooth. Let's do that. Do 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 do. do. trouble is you whisk it around like that you introduce all these different little I don't know what you call them micro lines or whatever I just want it to be like a smooth smooth out you know what I mean like uh, I think I'm just gonna hit that there a little bit 
That's all right. We'll leave a little line. That's all right. Almost like you're on like a iPad or something like that. You're doing the digital and you're like, I want this section to be, I don't do that, but I don't do, I don't do art on the iPad. I'm not David Hockney. I know he doesn't really do that anymore. He's back to the big paintings and that's good. What do you think? What do you think, Rushton? Let's, where's the. More sky, less sky, less sky. See, by, by videoing these, I can always go back and look at them and reference them. You know, and then that way I can say things like, oh yeah, that's where I wanted to, that's where I wanted to put the, uh, the masking or that's where I'm going to go and crop it for the, for the photo or for the scan. Because, you know, if you're scanning, if you're scanning for prints, you know, dye sublimation or whatever, you could scan them anywhere. You know, you could just have like a little, you know, 10 by 20 type of thing, you know, uh, or a 6 by 18, something it's like a little strip, like a cinemascope or whatever. Like that will be the painting. Blow it up. That's what I like to be able to do. I mean, I can do that today, but I like to just think about that, right? But this is nice. This gets me my window here. The window is, you know, blue skies off behind the clouds. You've got that nice green field in the distance. Things change up here, and then they become a little bit more... Um, rough closer up and i'm not trying to convey anything because it's it's not stop it's just you know it looks nice right looks good i think it looks pretty good i'm happy with that one you always make paintings like that rush well, yeah building a body of work you know you don't just make one painting you got to make just a body of work. You know, you change it. Maybe you get a little bit better at it. You change your technique around. Change the colors. Change the substrates. Maybe I work on it for more than one night, like I did with the painting last week. Was it last week? You know, try to improve it. And then it becomes what it is. You know, however you, you present it, whether you present uh, an original like this in this size format, which is, uh, you know, 10 by 8, 10 tall, 8 wide, with the matting in a frame. This is a little bit smaller opening. I think this is, uh, what is this typically? Uh, 7 and 3 quarter by 6 and a half or something like that. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. But uh, But then when you go and scan it or photograph it, Turn that product into something else. I, although I, it's hard for me to, you know, it's hard for me to 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 think about it in those terms because I'm just always like on to the next painting. Just, just let me get on to the next painting. You know, next, right? Next. <laughs> uh, oh, I got a lot of work to do around here. Uh, I might not be on tomorrow night just because I need to get these paintings into the gallery and that it's going to take some time and I only have time in the evening. So kind of getting used to the new schedule, dialing it back and everything like that. But it's nice to get on here, talk. Uh, the videos have been doing pretty good lately. Uh, some of them have done quite a bit better than average on YouTube and uh, bit shoot for some reason. I don't know whether that's real or not, but we'll see. Um, Anyway, that's it for this evening. Mark Rushton, markrushtongallery.com. Thanks for hanging out.